Welcome to our podcast, where we uncover the most important and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we'll discuss a study on Siberia's rapidly growing gateway to the underworld. One of the massive craters in the world, famously known as the gateway to the underworld, is growing by 35 million cubic feet every year. The huge crater situated in Serbia's permafrost is expanding due to melting of the ground, a new study has found. Officially known as Batage, the crater or mega slump is a rounded cliff face that was first discovered in 1991 through satellite images. It was created after a section of hillside collapsed in the Yana uplands of northern Yakutia in Russia. This collapse exposed layers of permafrost within the remaining portion of the hillside that have been frozen for up to 650,000 years now. It is known as the oldest permafrost in Siberia and second oldest in the world. New research suggests that the Batagay Mega Slump's cliff face is retreating at a rate of 40 feet or 12 meters per year due to permafrost thaw. The collapsed section of the hillside is also rapidly melting and sinking. Rapid permafrost thaw features are widespread and observed to increase in Arctic and subarctic ice rich permafrost terrain, the research team wrote in a study published online March 31st in the journal Geomorphology. However, the amount of ice and sediment lost from the Batagai mega slump is exceptionally high due to the sheer size of the depression, which stretched 3,250 feet or 990 meters wide as of 2023. The mega slump was of 2,600 feet or 790 meter wide in 2014, which means it grew 660 feet or 200 meter wider in less than 10 years. Researchers were aware that it was growing, but this is the first time they have quantified the volume of melting material out of the crater. The results from the research showed that a region of ice and sediment equivalent to more than 14 Great Pyramids of Giza has melted off the mega slump since it collapsed. The rate of melting has remained relatively steady over the past decade, occurring mostly along the slump on the western, southern and southeastern edges of the crater. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for listening. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.